Okay, what's up guys? This is LittleBlueGamer34, and I am back with some more Link to the Past. So let's start from my house, because I remember that's where I left off from last time. And let's see... What, what did we left off? Uh, we left off with, okay, two of our pendants. We needed to get, oh yeah, the flippers. We're ready to get the flippers! Alright, so uh, I think we need to check the map for a bit. I know the flippers are located on a riverside, I'm guessing all the way north of here, in this area. And where we're at is all the way over there, so we need to go across this bridge here in order to reach that area. And now that we have this, uh, the uh, Pegasus boots, we can actually go much, much faster. Let's see. Yes, we already crossed from here. Alright, so we are pretty much almost there. Alright, so let's see. Let's make our way up here. Let's... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. Actually, maybe, maybe not. Well, we'll see, actually. I know, I, I think we are. We are pretty close. Okay, I think I know where it is. So it's past this witch house. Maybe open up this little brick thing here. And make our way all the way here to the right. And it's gonna, I'm gonna need some bombs, actually. Why do I keep opening that up? No, I do not want that. Alright, so I have... How many bombs do I have? I have a sufficient amount. I keep opening up the damn map! Alright, let's just let that explode. And they don't explode. Why? Oh yeah, I forgot. This way you just gotta run onto it. Forget about that. Duh. Alright. So now up here is a path to go to those to get those flippers. So let's go all the way. I hate that. Be careful of this guy. Be careful of all these guys actually. And now all the way up here. Nice, so this is the riverside. And there's gonna be a lot of these like water creatures that evade and stuff, so let's just walk around them. Let's actually uh go here. Okay. Let's go in here. On this side. So I'm pretty sure it's nope, I think I'm yeah, I'm definitely wrong. It's not even close in here. I need to keep going up. It's been a while guys, I'm sorry. But this this game I haven't played for so long. You know what? I'm back to it. So let's see. And oh yeah, now I remember. It's definitely up here on this path. All the way down on this path. And I'm gonna take this. No, but this one just be the way. And I progress. I'm pretty sure. It's positive. Nope, nope. I am entirely wrong in everything I do. Okay, never mind. Here it is. This is the way to get to the flippers. But I need money. I remember uh, I think I like paid 500 rupees just to get one pair of flippers from this big fish guy right here. Raise it now. Let's see. Wahaha! What you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. Waha, but I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell for 500 rupees. Okay. care. What do you do? I pay 500 rupees. Why not? One pair of flippers coming up. I'll give you a free bonus with your purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. Wahaha! Now I got the flippers. Nice. You bought Zora's flippers. With these, you should be able to swim even deeper in water. Nice. Why do I keep opening the damn menu? So now I actually do have flippers down there. And now we can actually make our way in the waters here. I'm pretty sure... Let's see. Let's check something, actually. Can we actually swim by secret areas here in his... No, we, we can't. Because I know there are some secret areas or secret caves you can access within these parts. I know that, it's just, I don't know exactly where they were located again. I need to check. And he says that we can uh, swim one of the, in one of the whirlpools to, like, teleport to one different area. Or, like, to, de to teleport to different areas. There's more than one whirlpool to, you know, swim inside of, so. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's this part down here. I'm pretty sure that these two, uh, these two waterfalls here may have, a may have an entrance. A secret entrance. I'm pretty sure. I'm not, I'm not entirely positive, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe this one. Maybe. Nope. Definitely not. So I was wrong. Whatever. 
I'll check later. There, there, I know there's definitely one. I know that for sure. I just don't know exactly where. So now we can actually make our way to get the red pendant now, since we pretty much got everything that we need. We don't really need much else. Oh no, this is this is it. I remember now. This is definitely one you can enter up. And this cave, uh, it's just throw something inside. I guess throw an item. Uh, I'll throw in my boomerang. Let's see what happens. Um, oh, okay, so it's a fairy. Never mind. Hello there, did you drop this? Yes. I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. Oh yeah, she's the one that upgrades my weapons. Now I got the magical boomerang. Nice. Alright, let's keep doing this now. I I'm pretty sure we can upgrade almost every single... Oh, let me check any other weapons I can upgrade here. Uh, let's see. Let's throw in our arrows, because why not? Let's see what she gives us from that. Yes, I threw my arrows inside your pond. Okay, oh, okay, so let's actually check what kind of items are there in my, my menu that I can actually upgrade for sure. I know there's only certain ones I can. Maybe not the ice rod, not the buck catching net, maybe the bombs? That's the only that's the only options we got left. Oh yeah, and the, and the shield maybe, possibly. Let's check the shield and the bombs. Hopefully those two I can upgrade. Yes, throw an item inside. Throw a box. Alright, let's see what we can get back from that. Hopefully, please. And... Nope! Okay, so maybe the shield. One last, one last item. Why not? It's like a guessing game, kind of, but whatever. I know that the sword, you need to do other ways. You need to have, uh, have it upgraded in other methods, I think. But let's check. Uh, where's the shield? Well, let's try the sword. Why not? Let's see what happens. And let's see. Let's, yes, we threw it inside your pond. Okay, yeah, definitely not the sword. Definitely not. So what about the shield? That's always the shield that I'm thinking of. Because maybe the shield, she'll, make, she'll enlarge it a little bit. Or maybe make it more uh, impenetrable. Let's check. I hope. I really hope. I want a better shield. Let's see. And now she's gonna appear. I'm gonna say no. Yes, I did throw in your pawn. And oh yeah. Okay, so she does upgrade your shield. She gives you this. Uh, you get a uh, shield. Oh, it's just improved. Oh, it, um, it prevents attacks against fireballs now, which is actually pretty good. All right, so I guess that's the only upgrades we can get so far. Nice, so we got a brand new shield. That's awesome. Oh, this this whirlpool we can actually enter right here. This whirlpool will lead us to where? It will lead us to this area. Where is this at? Oh, I know where this is at. Okay. And this and this actually this little island, we can uh, upgrade um upgrade our or yeah upgrade our um. um Capacity for holding bombs and arrows. I know that much. Let's throw 20 rupees. Okay, happenings increase by 20. Good luck. Oh, great luck, actually. Alright. I know that I'm pretty sure it's 50 or 40 rupees you need to throw in in order to upgrade at least one of your. or increase the capacity of one of your items. Throw 20 more. Alright, a little luck. I'm pretty sure it's uh, 50. Oh no, no, I think it's 100 actually. Yeah, this this fairy makes you waste a lot of money just to upgrade one measly like like a pack like just upgrade the capacity of your weapons, which is kind of uh, I don't know. It's it's not. I can understand why, but it's kind of cheap for Mike sake because he has to keep giving a lot of money to her and it takes forever, I swear. So we need to just give her 20 more rupees. I mean, 40 more rupees, actually. So 20 now, and then we'll have to come back to the cave one last time, and she will appear. And I guess I'll upgrade, because I'm good with arrows, but I'll definitely upgrade my bombs, because I do need to carry more of those, just in case. So I'll definitely upgrade the bombs now, after she appears. Yes, I will throw my last 20 rupees inside there. And let's see, she appears. Yep. Alright, I wanna make your wish come true. I wanna carry more bombs. And I'll increase your carrying ability to 15 bombs at maximum. The small happiness I'll give to you. Thank you. And she gives us full bombs too, which is good. So now we got 15 bombs to carry up to and 30 arrows. Not that bad. Actually, it's pretty good. Now, let's make our way to the red pendant. Alright. Because that's our that's our next and last uh 
next and last pendant to carry or to, to obtain before we get the master sword. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to upgrade a little bit more just so I get enough to work with once I get to the pendant. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back guys. So I upgraded my bombs to 25 capacity and 30, my arrows to 35. And I actually found this little area here, a little secret area under a rock. Um, this guy right here. Maybe with this money I can actually upgrade more. You can earn a lot more rupees by defeating enemies. It's the secret of my success. Um, I actually have been defeating enemies already, and I haven't been getting anything from them. It sucks. I swear. Um, I did find one thing though. Uh, this other whirlpool here that's down here, and I think it does take us near to where we're supposed to go. Let's check it out. Let's go inside this whirlpool, and this will take us to where? Um, actually, yeah, nearby to where we're supposed to go. Alright, so now that we're here, all we gotta do is make our way north into a cave, and we'll be able to make our way through a path to go to the Red Pendant. Alright. Alright, let's get away from these guys. These guys are annoying as hell. Scared, uh, crows, I don't know what they are. Not scared, but I'm gonna say crows. Let's see, in this cave, we have to fall down here. I'm pretty sure eventually once we reach a certain point in the cave, we're gonna see an old man. Here we go. I don't know who you are, but if you are going to go up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Yeah. I mean, we don't have a lamp on us, but we have a weird light emitting from us, so... Uh, watch your step. There's a lot of holes in the ground. Just turn right here, young man. Are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. I'm the hero of time. Actually, no, I'm the hero of everything in general. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he's trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. So he has a clue as to what's going on. And he has a clue that Aghanim, uh, the guy we're supposed to be fighting now, uh, that we're fighting against, is actually st stealing away these maidens for a reason. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I'll wait for the day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I'll talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness, an old man like me. Uh, I want to give you this. If you wander a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. Yes, because he gave you this magical mirror, which, uh, the mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful, and you feel like it's going to absorb you in another world. Basically, if you, uh, get absorbed in another world, you can pretty much just stare into the mirror or use it, and you'll go back to your own world. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world to complete your quest. You will need the moon pro, which is in the tower on the top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to convert your weakness, so come back anytime. Thank you very much, old man, and now I'll make my way up here. So I'm pretty sure up here there's another thing I can get. Pretty sure. Yep. Let's see. Kill you, because you're annoying. I think I can get something else here. I'm not sure. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this cave actually- I know, I think this cave just leads us back to, like, yeah, it just makes us exit somewhere, which I do not want to. Not yet. So I'll come here when I'm done with my quest on the red pendant, or on obtaining the red pendant. So let's see. Let's go all the way down here again. Yes, I already know, I already know. Alright, so we got all full life, and now we can make our way to go to the Red Pendant. Um, there is one thing, however, I did miss, so, um, I shall make a quick cut, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. Um, I forgot about this area, which is actually directly above from where the cave is located, or where we can get through the cave. Um, I did forget to mention that- hold on, first of all, something good. Yo, Link, a mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest. You have to be careful. Yeah, and what they're referencing to is the forest that's right nearby here, which first let me get to this house for a sec. Okay, nothing special. That, uh, this forest that's right nearby here, let's get to this cave too, I'm sorry. <laughs> just gotta make sure, you know? Just gotta make sure of those little things. So there's an actual heart piece up there. I don't know how I can obtain that, I forgot about that actually. Okay, but, yeah. This forest that's located to our left side, right here, is the entrance, actually. 
Um, this is actually uh, after we get the three pennants, where we're supposed to go in order to get the master sword. And we forgot about something that we can actually get uh, another heart piece from here. And it's through falling inside this hole right here into a, uh, a bandit's uh, lair or a thieves' lair. I forgot what they're called. I think they call themselves bandits. Let's see. Let's talk to one of them. Let's see what they say. Hey kid, there's a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Yeah, I already saw them and stuff. No big deal. So yeah, there are other thieves here that'll try and take your money. So you want to just, like, avoid them at all costs. And this is the path. This we need to get, but I'll get anyways. A mushroom. It's not like sweet, rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone you want. Okay, so let's see. That's to give the witches, actually. The witches in the, in the magic shop in order to get uh, a potion brewed from them. Let's see. This is the where we're supposed to go in order to get the master sword. And this will your path to the very end. And here there's some Hylian text that if you equip the Book of Medora, I keep opening up the menu, I don't know why. If you click the book of Medora, it says... Why, menu? The hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins three symbols of virtue. The master sword he will then retrieve, keep the knight's line true. So it's a little rhyme that says that pretty much the, the, the true hero can only obtain the master sword once he has obtained all three pendants. So that's basically what, what this point is, like what this quest is all about, getting these three pendants. So I'll make another jump cut here and I'll be right back to where we last went left off and stuff. Alright, I'm back guys. Actually, we did forget something. Here's another extra cave that I found a little secret of and I think, yep, is another little heart piece. And actually there is one other thing we missed with the mushroom that we've gotten recently, so we'll make another jump cut here and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. Actually, before we forget, before we go to the, with the, to do with the mushroom, let's go inside this little cave here. Once we open the... This actually leads us back to the castle. Yeah, I know. But it's to obtain a secret item here. Um, which we need to equip the bombs for. And yes, we have the whole entire map and layout of the castle again. Let's just open up this area here. But this area we can actually obtain like some hearts, some bombs. And it's a it's a useful area, I guess. Some like, rupees actually, arrows. So it's not all that bad. Actually, this was a pretty good visit because now we actually have more rupees to upgrade. So. I'll make, once again, I'm gonna jump cut here since you guys already know where this leads to, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back, guys. Now we can talk to this witch here, and she'll say, Mmm, the smell of rotten fruit. If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. Hee <laughs> hee. So what you have to do is, all you have to do is just go, and I keep going with the map! Damn it! Get the mushroom, and show her the mushroom. Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. So we pretty much gotta come back here when when the time is right, and then we can obtain something actually from this lady. Red is the medicine, green is the medicine, blue is the medicine. Yeah, I don't know what medicines are which. So we'll just say the same thing. So uh, we'll just make a quick stop. Uh, I'll make another jump cut here, and I'll upgrade my arrows and bombs again. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. So now. I'm pretty sure that we can actually get the item that the witch wanted us to get. Here it is. And we just gotta take the item right here. It's called the magic powder. Try to sprinkle on enemies and many other things. And it does weird magical things. Weird, weird things. You'll see once it's used. So double double toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Making mushroom brew, I am. Oh yeah. And now we are officially ready to regress to the red pendant. So let me one last jump cut. Be right back, guys. I'm back, guys. Uh, at this, I did forget something here, which is a secret cave right by our house. Sorry for the extra jump cut. And actually, this cave leads us to a fairy, uh, a fairy ground. Um, we can collect a lot of fairies from. It's just a little extra thing, you know. And then I'll make, I'll be right back again. Okay, I'm back, guys. Now we're actually right by this lake right here in this under this bridge. And I forgot about something actually. Here you can actually collect uh, an extra heart piece, I think. I'm pretty sure. Or no, you get a you get a bottle, I think, from this guy. Let's see what he had to say. Yo, Link, you seem to be in the keep of trouble, but this can help give you some help. Alright, so we got a magic bottle again. Nice. Let's talk to him again, doesn't really do much, he just keeps sleeping. So that's pretty much it. Now we are basically uh, ready to fight the or actually to progress to the bread pendant now. 
So let's make one last jump cut now for sure. Sorry guys. We are back again, and we are back. And now we can actually make our way to the Red Panda. So this is the last uh, part of... Uh, we're not really the last part of this level. We're gonna come back here eventually, but... This is the plate. This is. Oh, wait, what is this? This is a weird cave. Let's not venture through here yet. Let's progress through our mission. Alright. Mission to the Red Pendant. And this cave leads us back to the Kakariko Village, so yeah, we don't have to be there yet. We don't have to go there just yet. We can go up here on Death Mountain. I don't know why they. I think I, I have a clue why as to why they call it Death Mountain, because it's pretty deadly, I think. And here, that's a portal actually. Um, we're just stick through here, I guess. And now we turn into a bunny, and what we gotta do is keep the mirror equipped for now. There's gonna be some guys here. What do you want? Do you have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here for to get the power of the golden, but now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I can go back to my original shape. Look, I could recently be stressed out, so back off. Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden powers would change your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I am always changing my mind, so I turn into a ball, but if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. What do you want? Do you have something to say to me, silly rabbit? Oh, that's just the other guy. Yeah, they're like, they're like gangbanging me right there. Okay, there we go. Now I'm all good. Let's make our way back by using the mirror. And now we can actually take this. Now we have full heart again. And I know in this cave down here... Oh, we actually could have went down here, actually. In this cave down here, there are some extra stuff that we can get. Um, like, there is another heart piece, too, here. But I went the wrong way. It's over there, so I'll be right back again. Okay, I'm back, guys. So what we have to do is actually fall down here. And this is the way to get to that, uh, that heart piece. This little path here. And here, we just gotta make our way upstairs. And we can actually get the heart piece right here in this area. Nice. Found a heart piece. Let's see. Link is I, Sarasarella. So you must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. Oh, that's what's called Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Dead Mountain. Alright. So we can just fall back down and then just make our way back all the way to the end of the cave. And there's gonna be just, like some weird little creature guys, like right here. I hate these guys, they're so annoying. Like, they're like the worst things to fight in this game. They're so annoying. Especially the boss for it. So now we have to make our way back to Hera, or at least up here at the top of the mountain, to go to the Temple of Hera. And here we we'll to go back to that portal, because we need actually to spawn up in this this is that area where I spawned back in with the portal. Go to the dark world for a sec. Equip the mirror. And now we should be able to actually make our way to the top of this, this little steep hill. And then equip the arrows again. I mean, boomerang. And here we go, the Temple of Hera. This is where the red pendant is, actually. Yeah. But before we get there, I want to show you guys something. There's this little area here. And if we read it with the Book of Medora, it means it says, "Hold up the Master Sword, and you will get the Magic of Ether." So there's actually three of these stones located around the whole entire game. One is here, and two are—I forgot what the locations are. I know one is near the, the blue pendant where it was, and another one I forgot where it was. But if you get those, you get special items in the menu here. They're like red, yellow spheres. Oh no, they're, ju they're just yellow spheres. And they actually help you out really much. So this is the actual temple to go to get the red pendant. And it's gonna be one hell of a ride, so I'll continue this next episode. So if you guys like what you saw for now, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll post more of this. I'll post more of Five Nights at Freddy's, which I will be doing soon again. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.